Welcome one and all fellow fans of Clash of Clans, it is your host Galadon and it is time for another installment of your favorite series on the channel, The Strange But True in Clash of Clans. So if you have a moment as we get this video underway, please do consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications as we get this video underway with Slightly Strange and we get by the end of this video to the strangest of all time. So, yes, as you saw in the opening, we have my level one Town Hall 14, which until this point, I really honestly thought was the only level one Town Hall 14 in the game. So, yes, starting out today with a little bit of a disappointment for Galadon is another level one Town Hall 14 that's even better than mine because this player has already prepared for Town Hall 15 by taking their Town Hall Giga Inferno to, to level five so yeah i'm not the only one a little bit disappointed right there but don't worry i've got accounts that will make you forget about this in just a moment but you know what we shouldn't forget and that is to use code galadon that's right it helps keep the channel going and half of the proceeds every single month go to charity so in whatever supercell game you are playing please use code galadon before you make a purchase it is not only easy to do but it is the right thing to do okay so let's get ready to get really strange but also true well, all of these accounts are actually live in game so you can check these hashtags yourself that is why i include them many people ask me well galadon you're going to get these people banned or whatever but the whole point is at least you guys can see it okay so if you want and this guy right here he's been around quelmo for quite a while yes he is a town hall one who has unlocked giants so uh yes you you cannot unlock giants at town hall one uh, last time i checked but somehow some way this account remains active in the game and he's been around for a long time and he's even hanging out right now in a level 22 clan which of course should also shock you that a town hall one can be in a clan uh, which i've never been able to do either so a couple of really strange but true things there and then of course there are over 1000 war stars let's move on it gets weirder i promise you remember this hashtag write it down check it out the unknown now this is explicable and what i mean is it is possible to do this as a town hall nine back in the old days of clash of clans you could sell buildings in the very early days of clash but you don't often see these accounts around anymore. And then what makes this one even stranger, it's a Town Hall 9 with no original level one cannon, yet it has two expos. That, that's that's really strange, okay? That's, that's very strange. It's also very true. It is still out there. And this one, I'll tell you, does not really run the risk of being banned for whatever reason. It's just really old and obviously, it's inactive. You see the expos are long empty. I love the center gem box, by the way. There's an homage to Peter $17 uh, and then presents from at least one year of Santa's surprise. But let's move on to a true hacker, a Clash of Clans player who admits he is a hacker. And get this one quickly, you guys. This is going to be gone very, very soon because when you name yourself Hack Town Hall 1 and then you get out there with a Town Hall 1 with no troops and wait a minute not one but two cannons that is definitely an unfair advantage to all the other town hall ones out there of course it is also suspicious that there are zero trophies on this account so it may not be in the player pool but expect it to disappear completely very very soon let's move on and check out some other really strange and also really true villages here we have night witch and at first glance night witch doesn't seem like anything special it's hanging out in a level 11 clan it's got a relatively normal looking town hall 3 and uh yes but sometimes to find the strange but true you must go down to the achievements and if you scroll and continue to scroll down you will find that this town hall 3 player has slain the dragon that is right has defeated dragon's lair as a town hall three now i can guarantee you there is no tutorial anywhere on youtube that'll tell you how to beat the dragon's lair as a town hall three in fact the lowest i could find was a town hall eight so did he hack did he exploit somehow i don't know this one it's kind of risky but can you really prove anything so we'll see what happens to that account in the near future but let's step back into the early days of clash of clans and that's right the account that started it all it is time for another update on the truly infamous goblin pole 
from the original very first episode of Clash of Clans Attack Strange But True. And in fact, to go back this far into the game, you have to go back to when Clash of Clans was black and white. So uh, yeah, that's really, really a long time ago as we find ARL. Uh, okay, fine, it wasn't black and white, but ARL right here. This is the guy way back in the day in the Revenge Clan who had the Goblin Pole. And this was truly the strangest but true thing that I've ever seen in Clash of Clans. The most unique and of course impossible account because many of the levels for these defenses were impossible for the town hall at the time. And then you had the goblin poles on top of that. So no doubt this was some sort of developer account. Now, if we go to this footage, this is actually footage of the same account in the year 2020. This was October of 2020, so just over a year ago. The account still sits in the Revenge Clan and it doesn't appear to have been touched for a long, long time. Now, shortly after the initial Goblin Pole episode came out, mysteriously, the Goblin Poles disappeared, the base was rearranged to something like this, and all of the impossible level defenses kind of disappeared and everything suddenly became reasonable. So yes, we exposed it and for whatever reason it was quote unquote fixed rather than banned. But now we can go fast forward to today. And yes, that's right. The base looks exactly the same as it did over a year ago with the same number of trophies, which makes me think it is out of the defending pool. This account hasn't been logged on probably for at least two or three years. So, yes, Strange But True is becoming harder and harder to find, but it's still out there, obviously, and I want you guys to help me find it. And if you can, you can become the proud owner of a $25 Amazon, iTunes, or Google Play gift card, just like Sid did, who sent me many of today's hashtags. And although a few players sent me the same information, Sid got there first, so thank you, Sid. Now, the rest of you that want a chance, reach out to me on Twitter at Galadon Gaming. Make sure you follow me and tweet me with the hashtag StrangeButTrueCoc. Now, I'm looking for new Strange But True accounts, not ones that have been covered in the past. And remember, just being rushed does not make a Strange But True account. Town Hall 11s with only one cannon are not Strange But True. I am looking for something that breaks the laws of physics in Clash of Clans. And if you can find something like the Goblin Pole, a $100 gift card awaits you. So thank you guys, as always, Galafam, for watching all the way to the end of the episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Get out there, have a fantastic best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Strange Attacks. Galadon, now that's strange. Very, very strange.